Hi guys, today we install the bootloader and the firmware on the 3D printer Creality Ender 3. Make a test print and most importantly test thermal runway protection. Let's get started. First remove the three screws holding the control unit cover. As a programmer I will use Arduino Uno board. Here is the wiring diagram. To connect the pins we need DuPont wires. All links will be in the description. The bootloader is needed in order to be able to install firmware via the USB port. And the new firmware has thermal runaway protection. This is protection against temperature failure of the extruder or heating bed when the thermistor fails. That is, if the temperature goes beyond a certain range, the printer will turn off the heating and display an error message. For easy connection I wrap the ends of the wires together with electrical tape. Now go to the computer. I will use the firmware from TH3D. Click Knowledge Base. Firmware. Download the full package. Unpack the archive. I have a Mac, so I run this setup file. Follow the steps on the screen. Click the right mouse button. Open. Open. Next. Next. Install. Install software. Close. If you have Windows, you need to run this file. Next step, open the folder and this one. Open the sketch firmware. First you need to record on Arduino sketch programmer. Follow the steps on the screen. Click File, Examples, Arduino ISP, Arduino ISP. Connect the USB cable to the Arduino and to the computer. Open Tools, Board, select Arduino Uno. Select the port that it assigned to the connection. Select the programmer AVR ISP MK2. Click Upload. Go to Firmware. Click Configuration H. Uncommon Define Ender 3. Disable the logo on boot. I'm not going to uncomment the line that displays the name of the printer. In this case, the firmware version will be displayed. Next, prepare to write the bootloader. Select Sanguino board. Processor 80 Mega 1284, 16 MHz. The port is the same. Programmer Arduino SISP. Right bootloader. Done. Now disconnect the wires from the board and connect the mini USB cable. The board and processor remain the same. Select the port that is assigned to the printer when connecting. Change the programmer. AVR ISP MK2. Click Upload. That's all. Disconnect the USB cable. Screw the cover back on. The firmware version is displayed at the bottom. 
you need to initialize EEPROM. I printed the calibration cube, excellent quality. At the bottom there are small defects due to shrinkage of the plastic. Measure the size. All sizes accurate. Only the x-axis is 0.1 mm larger. This is within the permissible error. general, the result is very good. Now we are going to test the thermal runaway protection. I heat the bed to 95 degrees and cool it with a hair dryer without heating. And another cooler. The video is sped up 20 times. Attention! Great! The bed temperature has changed. The printer has turned off the heat and issued a message on the display. The button does not respond. Protection was great. That's all. Rate the video, write comments, click on the bell. Good luck. Bye.